Hello and welcome to another episode of Living Well with Dr. Mike. I'm your host, Dr. Mike Cockrell, and I will be working with you through this series to help create a life of health and happiness. Today we're going to be talking about balancing your hormones with natural alternatives. And to start that conversation, I want to clarify that this particular topic today is really designed to address the issues that women are having. I'll deal with some of the same things on balancing your hormones with men in a later section. So for the females today, we're going to start out by talking about what is estrogen dominance. And basically, estrogen dominance is that state that we get in um, or that females get in as they begin to age where estrogen gets out of balance with your progesterone. And you may be asking, what does that really have to do anything? It's a natural aging process. And that's correct. We normally, as we age, we have a natural decline in all of our hormonal systems. And typically, that's not a problem if, if everything is working like it's supposed to. The problem we see in today's society is because of stress, the way we eat, the fact that we uh, don't rest, we don't sleep well, we're too, too much stimulation going on from electronic devices, from televisions, from phones, from iPads. Our system gets wrecked. And when that happens, you begin to see symptoms. Now, Particularly what I want to share with you next is what kind of things will you be noticing as a female who is beginning to develop estrogen dominance? Well, there are a whole host of symptoms that will begin to appear. Mood swings, depression, bloating, headaches, migraines, breast soreness, swelling, weight gain, water retention. You may develop fibroid tumors or endometriosis. You may notice that you have an increase um, episodes of cramping. You may develop constipation, that brain fog or foggy thinking. You may lose your interest in sex. You may lose your interest in just about everything that you have going on. You may notice that you have heavier menstrual cycles or they're more irregular. Um, infertility is a part of that process. You may notice that you have an increased craving for sweets. Your skin and hair begin to get dry. You notice dark circles under your eyes and you're just so tired and lethargic you just don't want to get up and go. So that's a lot of stuff just because estrogen and progesterone are out of balance. So I think Suzanne Somers really sums it up really well in some of her discussions because she talks about the seven dwarves of menopause, and this is itchy, bitchy, sleepy, sweaty, bloated, forgetful, and all dried up. So what do we want to do about this? Well, if you're taking a traditional medical approach, uh, your physician, your gynecologist may actually want to start you on birth control pills to help regulate some of the symptoms. They may want to start you on synthetic hormones to regulate some of the symptoms. A very popular, although I'm not convinced the best technique, is to start you on antidepressants. Um, the antidepressants basically help make you feel a little more energetic, but really they address none of the issues related to estrogen dominance. And in fact, most of our approaches are designed to cover up the symptoms so that you will quit complaining and not really address the root cause. I tend to take a little bit more of a natural approach to balancing hormones. Um, in our practice, we use herbs and supplements, things like black cohosh, things like uh, evening primrose oil. There's a whole host of... Um, of substances and compounds that can help begin to relieve symptoms that are a little more natural than the prescription medicines. I use a lot of bioidentical hormones because my philosophy in my clinic is that if we can subtly finesse the areas that are the weakest when it comes to your hormones back into play, give your body a fighting chance your body is the best natural healer you will ever come across. So sometimes it needs a little support. Sometimes it needs a little help. And I would I tend to do that with bioidentical hormones. And I use this concept that we cause minimal effective dose. We just need to be using the least amount of a substance or a compound that we have to have to allow your body to step up, take control, do its repair, and get back on track. And then, of course... Nutrition and exercise plays a huge role. How you eat, what you eat, how active you are, the kinds of activities you're getting, 
All of those make a difference in your long-term health when it comes to balancing your hormones. So as an empowered woman, what I want you to understand is that you have options. Be sure that you are picking the options that are right for you. Don't just take anyone's blind advice and roll with it. That's the worst thing you can do. If you want to be empowered, especially when it comes to taking care of your health and improving your wellness and your longevity, you have to educate yourself and you have to know what's going to work for you and what's not going to work for you. Listen, I hope this information on balancing your hormones with natural alternatives has been beneficial to you. If you would like more information about creating a life of health and wellness, be sure to check out our website at livingwellwithdrmike.com. I also invite you to connect with me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash livingwellwithdrmike. I welcome... Um, your input. I would love to know what you think about the topics I'm discussing. I would love to know what kind of problems, issues, and concerns you have in your own life so that I can more effectively address those issues, help educate uh, you and others, and actually help you understand how your body's working so that you can take the power and the control back and you can live a long, healthy life. Thanks so much. Have a great day, and I will see you later on, um, hopefully on my website.